104.7 The Cave is Springfield's Pure Classic Rock. Mike, the intern, good morning. Got my good friend Derek Stevens from Circa Resort and Casino on the phone. How do you like the Chiefs right now at this point in the season, sir? In a dominant position here going forward. You know, it's crazy you mentioned that, um, Derek. The funny thing about that is, you know, earlier in the day, the Bills lose to the Jets. And then all of a sudden, that loss that we had, we being the Chiefs, to Buffalo early in the season isn't as deep. Now, they own the tiebreaker, of course, but at the same time, that helped us. And then watching that game all day Sunday, just going, what are we doing? What are we doing? But they pulled it out, man. That Mahomes magic. Can you believe it? Yeah, I mean, unbelievable. What, what, a, what a crazy game. Huh? I mean, to be honest, the fact that uh, Rabel kept uh, kept him in the game with uh, no offense, no quarterback was kind of amazing. But, uh, but yeah, it played out great. It did. Um, you know, I saw a, co- a quote the other day about, um, you know, kids growing up now watching Mahomes do what he does um, and being sad that they weren't alive when Michael Jordan was doing that stuff. And I was, and I remember it. I mean, being that was the thing. I mean, him and Bird and Johnson, um, just watching what those guys do made that sport so amazing in the late 80s and early 90s. And uh, I'm telling you right now, um, if you want to be a part of something that's literally going to be in the history books for the rest of your life, life pay attention to what Patrick Mahomes does every week hands down yeah that's right that's right so what do you think about uh that uh, guy who sells uh furniture down in Texas winning off uh, a lot of money this past week <laughs> yeah I, I know Mac pretty well uh he uh he did pretty well um you know off the record I mean he uh he would have made a lot of money if uh if the Astros would have lost uh, but uh, but it's a hell of a good PR and media story, you know. He's gonna he's gonna get seventy five million dollars. Um, but what a lot of people didn't really understand, they're all saying, "Well, why didn't he hedge? He should have hedged." They don't really understand his bets were the hedge because he was hedging the furniture business. You yeah. Know? Yep. One hundred and ten percent. And and that in itself is it's kind of how those, you know, win a billion dollar drawing, unlock the key safe. It's it's essentially all an insurance payoff at the end of the day, because that's how he did it. And smart, smart business guy. You know what I mean? And it worked out for him big time. Um, of course, I've got Derek Stevens from Circa Resort and Casino on the phone with me this morning. Uh, we've got a flyaway in January, last regular season game when the Chiefs take on the Raiders. We still don't know exactly what time, but it's going to be that Sunday. we got a pep rally. we got to watch the game from Stadium Swim. And as, De- as Derek has mentioned, do not wait on getting your seats, getting your uh, hotel stay at Circa because there's a convention going on that's a pretty big deal that week, and they will more than likely sell out. So don't sit on it. You're absolutely right. And I'll tell you what, when you look at this schedule after what happened uh, last week, boy, this, this, uh, this Week 18 game is going to be something for the Chiefs. I mean, it's going to clearly impact – it's going to clearly impact the playoff schedule. Uh, Chiefs are in a great, great position here right now. But that's going to be a really, really key game this last game of the season. And they've got a they've got a lot of tough uh, tough hombres coming up. We got to go back out to L.A. face the Chargers. We got the Rams at home. We got to go to Cincinnati and face the Bengals. I'm not really too concerned about Denver or Houston. Seattle. They've had a pretty good season. How about their rookie running back Walker? Man, he's killing it right now. Yeah, I mean, Darren Walker, I mean, it's been unbelievable. Michigan State kid uh, coming on. He's kind of jumped up near the top of uh, of the Rookie of the Year uh, wagering. 110%. The Chiefs schedule, I, want, I do want to mention something to you, though. I, I'll tell you what, compared to some other team schedules, uh, you know, I think I think the Chiefs got a lot out of the way early. You know? Yeah. The win, the win at Tampa, big deal. You know, the, 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 uh, the win – um, at Arizona early on when you weren't sure what you're going to get at Arizona, the win at the 49ers, huge. And then obviously what, you know, what just took place here against Tennessee, just really unbelievable. So for, for America, which I kind of consider the Chiefs America's team here. I appreciate that. I, like the, I, I, I love the way this schedule plays out. I mean, you, there's a lot behind. You're right about it. you got to go to the Bengals, um, you know, but that's a Sunday afternoon game. You got it. You got to play. Uh, you got to play one home game against Seattle, which you know you got to feel pretty good about. But I think I think right now where the Chiefs are, you know, with a record that's tied with Buffalo, little question on Buffalo now, and, and not knowing exactly where Josh Allen is, 
you know, you're you're looking at a potential run, a potential run to the number one overall, number one seed. You're absolutely right. And the Bills, speaking of which, face off with the Vikings uh, this weekend. And Vikings D has been pretty damn good so far this season. So if they and Josh Allen day to day, if you're fa- following fantasy football, um, but he, yeah, it, if if they don't start him, where they got Case Keenum coming in behind him, is that who is that who gets to start? So. I I, you know, it, 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 that's not that didn't bode too well for the Bills, um, and uh, we'll see what happens. But the, Buffalo, but the Buffalo schedule is the opposite of the Chiefs. I mean, it's tough. Like you said, Vikings this weekend. You got to they got to go to New England. They got another game against the Jets. They got to play the Dolphins. They got to go to the Bengals, and they and they finish up their last game of the season back with New England. So so I think you know on a schedule basis, the Chiefs are in a much better position. You know, as we go into week nine, into week ten here. You're absolutely right. And the other thing I'll leave with you with is: Can you believe that the New York Jets are in that group of guys right now? That just blows my mind. Blows my mind. But they're having a hell of a season. Hell of a season. They're, heck, they're having one heck of a season. And you know, after you know, there's a lot of thought after Brees Hall went down. You know, they thought there'd be be a lot of struggles, but. Uh, but so far they've been they've been hanging in there. So we'll we'll see. I mean, not, now the Jets got a little bit of a tough schedule going forward uh, as well because they got a, they got a lot of road games. They got to they got to go to Minnesota. They got to go to New England. They have to go to Seattle. They have, they got to go, you know, to Buffalo. They got to go at Miami. So so they've got they've got a tough a tough road ahead of them. But uh, but yeah, the way this the way this AFC is playing out, boy, I, I couldn't be more excited. Me too, man. And that's what this is all about, Derek. We're going to come see you again this January. Chiefs Raiders in Las Vegas, Circuit Resort and Casino. Get your room right now. Use the special code Chiefs20 online, 1047thecave.com. Derek, have a great weekend, and I will talk to you next Thursday, sir.